I think that Lainey was too hard on him. I, I'm a softie. I personally wouldn't have gotten that upset to where I wouldn't talk to him anymore. Mm -hmm. Or I, I would, like, I don't want to get married. So me, you know, someone saying, <laughs> we think about that. I'm like, let's do it. You know what I mean? Like, I can, I wouldn't be so hard. And if it was the other way around and I wanted to do it and they didn't want to do, to, you know, to get married, um, I wouldn't pressure them. I, I'm kind of like, there? well, whenever you feel it, and hopefully I soon, because I don't wait <laughs> too long for anybody, you know, but yeah. I wouldn't wake yeah. up. Yeah. So I felt bad. I kind of felt sorry for Esposito. I was like, poor honey. <laughs> so hard on him. She's a hard chick, though, and that's, that's part of the reason why I wanted to have some reason why she was that hard, which is why I brought up having her mom come in and maybe Pam Greer playing her because you've seen Pam Greer play that character. Yeah. She's hard and yeah. maybe Lainey gets it from her mom. Maybe, you know, maybe she gets it from an ex-husband who she caught cheating on her. Like, it has to be some sort of reason why she's like that. You're not born with that wall up. Mm -hmm. it, it's so much stuff built up over the years and years that that's now your protection. So I'm going to kind of see that come down a little bit or see the reason there. I think Lainey and Beckett, it's so funny, I thought about what could we do that could still involve everyone else and I figured, you know, maybe Beckett needs some time away, Lainey just is her friend, we've been working, 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 we haven't dealt with the things that have happened, her getting shot and all this other stuff, we haven't talked about it, so maybe you know, us being two tough girls, we go out, have a few drinks, and it's karaoke night, and we're up there karaoke, and the guys walk in and see us, but instead of like, <gasps> they come and join in, and it happens to be a song where they can. I don't know, I thought about that. So maybe something like that, I would love that. They have done so many of our suggestions, they've written them in some sort of way, even the suggestions from different fans, from the blogs, or from Twitter. There's been a lot that they've asked to see, and they are seeing it this season. Stuff that they asked about last season, they just now starting to see this season. So it does, it does come across. Andrew takes his time. He figures out a real intellectual way to incorporate what we want into what he's doing. So we've definitely had um, some things that we thought of written in the script. Uh, no, I have a weak stomach, like when it comes to, I can look at pimple marathons, the pimple poppy marathons on YouTube, I can look at that all day, but when it comes to like guts and blood, you have to remember the smell of dead people, I don't think I could handle it. When I watch Dr. G Medical Examiner, she doesn't even put the stuff under her nose, she's just drilling them open, and she's talking to you, and you're like, <laughs> you know, like I, I could not handle that personally. I, that's why I love the TV aspect of it. There's no stinky smell. It's all fake. The little staples are, you know, skin added on, and it's, and you, you're talking to them the whole time. So I, I can handle just playing around, but the real stuff that's for the real people. Yeah. <laughs>